Okay, well this is real life and this is uh, part two of my uh, Barnes & Noble 3D printer review. This is the uh, uh, Da Vinci Junior uh, 3D printer that Barnes & Noble sell for a mere $349. Uh, this is very, very easy and simple to use. Just plug and play. Uh, you needn't even connect it to your computer uh, via the, the supplied USB cord to get it working. So whilst this is relatively quiet, um, it generates a little bit of background noise through the fans going in the machinery continuously, but it, it's pretty quiet overall. Uh, I'm actually going to um, uh, move it to another room downstairs. It comes with seemingly no instructions, and everything comes on a, a micro S, uh, sorry, an SD card uh, that you can then pop out a um, put in a micro SD card adapter. You then download all of the uh, the software uh, onto your computer from the micro SD card. Uh, you get this way you can create your own uh, uh, designs on here or import them. Uh, additionally, you can go online and there's many things like this Iron Man mask uh, that you can uh, download for use on it. Um, but this will sit in another room entirely. You, you need not have it next to your computer at all, which is great if you want this. It's a fairly big box um, uh, overall, but everything's enclosed, very uh, child friendly. Um, although my daughter's fascinated by it, there's nothing they can really reach, although uh, it does continue to operate if you pull the cover up. Um, spool installation, uh, pretty easy, you can just sit slowly turning around. Uh, there, um, relatively simple to do. Uh, indeed, the only things required, required to assemble is fitting this white tube uh, that comes out the top and back down again, and fitting the spool. And it's just a fairly straightforward uh, task to do. There's a series of online videos that they've got. As I say, everything comes on the the micro SD card. Uh, when you've finished installing the software on your computer, uh, you pop it back in the full size SD card. And if you can just see down here where my finger is, there's a the slot where the SD card goes back in. Uh, this is then printing the sample uh, from the SD card that it comes with, uh, which can be done in just a couple of clicks. So my inclination at minutes to put this device in another room completely uh, and just download my uh, 3D files onto the SD card and pop the SD card in, uh, and then it can sit downstairs uh, on its own quietly out of the way. Overall though, highly impressed uh, with um, my first impressions of the Barnes & Noble 3D printer. Uh, only downside was that these paper sheets uh, that it comes with that stick to the bottom to protect the glass. You need to do something called a Z calibration, otherwise it cuts down into the paper uh, and starts putting the plastic down on the glass. Highly important you do this, otherwise, like me, you're going to have the joy of removing that from the glass, which hopefully should just uh, prise away without too much trouble. That's the main thing to be aware of. Overall, very easy. Uh, to uh, install and get up and running. The, the thing that fools you completely is there's no instructions at all with the printer. Everything is on uh, the SD card, including all the help files, etc. Although they do have a very good online website for the uh, Da Vinci Junior 3D printer. Well, I hope you like this uh, short intro to uh, seeing the, uh, the Barnes & Noble 3D printer at work. If you did, then please do like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.